Hello and welcome to your seventh WX Python tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be working on some customization of this window, most notably in the panel. And as always, we want uh, to do this with a bit of interaction with the user, since that's what it's all about these days, is uh, user interaction and customizability based on the user. So if you don't recall where we left off, uh, was here, it asks their name, it asks if they enjoy, and then it asks them what their favorite color is. They click that and up pops this window. So now what we want to do is like this text box is in what is known as the uh, panel. And like this kind of area right here is our panel. Um, and so this text box is just within the panel. So let's exit this window. And what we're going to do first is change this panel a little bit. First, let's move the panel down because uh, generally, just like we did with the buttons, you want all your button information kind of grouped, all your customizable stuff that's happening back to back. I, I think you want that grouped so you can kind of find this stuff over time when you're coming back to change up your program or whatever. Uh, it just helps to have it grouped. So we're going to put the panel stuff uh, actually down here. Now the other thing we'd like to do, let's go ahead and make room uh, for some text that we're going to put on. So we're going to change the position of this panel. Instead, we're going to put it at 3 and 100, and then we're going to change the size to, let's do like more like 150 and 50. So it'll be kind of long and short. Um, and so now what we're going to do, you'll see it, we'll bring it up in the program in just a second if you can't visualize that. So now let's put something else in our panel. So. Um, let's call this awesome, awesome text, but we'll just do aw text for short, equals wx.static text. And within the parameters, uh, you're going to have basically four. And the first one, we're going to say panel, and then we'll do negative one for the ID. Um, then you'll have awesome text is what we'll have that text say. And then you finally you have the position of it. And so you don't want it to um, conflict with this text panel that we have. So that's why we move this text panel down. It's down 100 pixels. So we got plenty of space. Uh, but this text will put this text where at 3.3. Three. Um, so it'll be 3 pixels over and 3 pixels down. So uh, if we run this now. you'll see that we have awesome text here. But uh, let's be honest with ourselves, that text really isn't that awesome. So let's apply uh, some colors to that text. So we'll come down here, and the way you do this is you do all text, obviously. Then you're going to set uh, the foreground, foreground, oh my goodness, can't type. Foreground color, set foreground, let's make sure we did that right, yeah. And then we'll set that color um, to yellow. Then we'll do the same thing. We'll set a background, autext.set background color. And we'll set that background color to black. Okay. So we'll save that. We'll run it. And up pops this window. And now you can see, okay, the text is looking a little more awesome. Now, all you graphic designers out there, I'm sure you were like, okay, 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 but can we put hex color codes in there? Yes, you can. So not only can you like spell out the colors, you can put the co uh, hex codes in there. So let's do kind of like a light blue. Uh, we'll save that and we'll run it. And it just you just put the hex color code within the parentheses, so it's a string itself. And now you see, okay, now our awesome text. It's this light blue on top of black. So yes, you can do hex color codes as well. So you have. You know, any color you could possibly want, you can put in there. So, um, that's really cool, but I bet you guys want to take it a step further. And let's make this text like truly custom text based on user input. And what better way to color our text than to color the text the same color that the user chose? So, let's do that real quick. So, we'll call this really aw text. So, for really awesome text. That's going to be wx.static text. Same thing as before. It's going to go in the panel. Its ID will just be negative one. 
and then we'll call this customized awesomeness. Then we're going to say its location will be same, three pixels over, but just so we have plenty of space, we'll do it 30 pixels down. Now what we want to do is we'll say really awesome text equals wx dot static, or I'm sorry, <laughs> really awesome text dot set foreground color. And within these parentheses, you can put the user, see we saved this as fave color, and fave color is just corresponding to a string. So we can just literally take fave color and copy and paste that variable right on in there. And then uh, the same thing before, let me just copy and paste this. And so we'll do really awesome text, and then we paste set background color. We'll still have that be black. So now when we run this, Okay, you say Harrison, yeah, I enjoy it. Now we can pick any color we want. So let's say we want green. So now we can see, okay, the customized awesomeness is green. But what if we want a different color? Let's choose uh, red. Now it's red text. So now that we've added a little bit of color, um, I think that especially nowadays you know in the old days just having like the most basic GUI was like oh! but this GUI nowadays is pretty disgusting so we're gonna continue building on making the GUI just maybe a little bit more appealing to somebody um, so I uh, hope you're looking forward to that as always thank you for watching and thank you for my subscriptions um, it really helps to see like the people that support me so thanks for subscribing and until next time